this video, I'm going to show you how to make an RTP portal or an RTP NPC. So RTP, also known as random teleportation, is something that a lot of Minecraft servers use. It will allow players to execute a simple command at spawn, which will then teleport them to a random location inside of your Minecraft world. This will make it so that players don't have to walk for 20 minutes to find a place where nothing has been raided or built yet. And in this video, I will be showing you how to make an NPC, which you can talk to to RTP, or a portal which you can walk into RTP. So do make sure to click like, also leave a sub to the channel, and then without any further ado, uh, let's freaking go. So the first step will be installing the necessary plugins. For the RTP command, we're gonna use better RTP. It is for sure the best random teleportation plugin out there, with almost 400k downloads, and my video is actually featured on their spigot page. Props to the developers, I've talked to them numerous times, and they're great guys. Anyway, you simply want to click on download now, and install better RTP. Besides that, you also also want to install simple portals. This will be the plugin that we're gonna use to of course create a portal which we can then hook better RTP to. And then last but definitely not least, citizens for the NPCs. A link to all of these pages will also be in the description. If you've purchased citizens on Spigot MC, you can simply click on download now. If you want to download it for free, you can simply click on this here button and then you will be able to download the full version of citizens for 100% free. Though if you want to support a developer, I would highly recommend just purchasing the plugin from Spigot. Now after doing that, it is a matter of dragging all the plugins into your plugins folder and then restarting your Minecraft server. After that's done, it is time for the setup. By the way, if you want to know how to set up better RTP, I will leave a card in the top right corner of this video so you can check out my better RTP video for yourself. Now let's start with creating a better RTP portal, shall we? So to create an RTP portal, the first thing you will need to do is of course create a portal. I'm gonna make a nice portal made out of amethyst. So let's go, let's make a nether portal, but then all amethyst there we go that looks awesome now i'm gonna make a hole here in the ground so i can select the whole thing and then we're gonna type slash portals and then selection mode and after that selection mode will be enabled now you can simply left click on this block and then right click on this block and now this whole area will be selected what you want to type now is slash portals create and then we're gonna give it a name in my case it's gonna be called rtp press enter and there you go you can see some particles here the portal is functional now if we walk in there you can see that nothing will happen yet because we didn't attach any command or whatsoever to this portal so the way we're gonna do that is type slash portals then we're gonna add a command then you want to type in the name of your portal in my case it is called rtp and then you want to type in the command so the command you want to fill in here is rtp Without any slashes, you don't have to include them at all. After that, a space and then layer. Then a space again and one of these weird bracket symbols, whatever they're called. Then player once again. And then another one of those bracket thingies. So this will be a placeholder for your player name. Now the last thing you want to do is type colon and then with all caps console. So this is the full command you want to type. Now the reason we type colon console here at the end is to make sure that this whole command gets executed through the console. Now, why do you want that? Well, if console wouldn't be here, then the player will actually need permission to use the RTP command to be able to use the portal. So through a plugin like, for example, Luckworms, you will have to give the player the RTP permission. Otherwise, they won't be able to use this portal at all. While this way, the player doesn't need any permission at all. So this whole command will be executed through the console. Now we can simply type enter command RTP player and then placeholder player has been added to the RTP portal. Meaning that when we now walk in here, we will be RTPs, like you can see. So we have just been teleported to a random location inside of this Minecraft world. The RTP portal is complete. Now it is time to do the same thing again, but this time with an NPC. Now making an RTP NPC is actually really easy, even more easy than a portal. So to create an NPC, you simply want to type slash NPC create, and then you can just fill in the username. I'm gonna go for Kasai Sora, press enter, and there we go. <laughs> I got a clone of myself. Oh, nice. Now, if you have already created an NPC that you want to use, what you want to do is simply get close to it and type slash NPC select. Now, in my case, this NPC has already been selected because I just created it. Still, if your NPC has been around for a while already, you might have to reselect it. And then what we want to do is simply add a command again. So we're going to type slash NPC. Then you want to type CMD, which stands for command. Then we want to add a command. So add. And then we want to type out a command. Now, what is 
is really cool about citizens is that we don't need to do anything crazy to make it so that the command gets executed through the console. By default in citizens, when you add a command to an NPC, players will always have permission to execute that command. So it doesn't need to go through the console or anything like that. The player also doesn't need the better RTP permission. By default, it will just work already, which is great. So the command we want to type here is once again RTP, then player, and after that, the placeholder for the player. The placeholder is actually different for citizens, so you simply want to type one of these arrow thingies, then a P, and then the arrow thingy that goes the other way. Command RTP player Kasasura edits with ID 0. So when we now right click this NPC, you will see that we're getting randomly teleported. How great is that? It works perfectly. That's freaking awesome. And then that will be it. This is how you make an RTP portal and an RTP NPC. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Do make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel. You would really help me out by doing that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.